Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Opnik's YouTube channel. In this video, we will define and illustrate tangent and second lines. We will identify and illustrate angles formed by seconds and tangents and we will find the measure of an angle determined by seconds and tangents. Let us first define a second line. It is a line that intersects the circle at two distinct points. In this illustration, line Rx is an example of a second line. A tangent line is a line that intersects the circle at one point called point of tangency. In this illustration, line MN is an example of a tangent line. Point L is the point of tangency between circle A and line MN. Let us now discuss the angles formed by seconds and tangents. A second and a tangent intersecting on the circle. The second in this illustration is line SL, while the tangent is line PR. The point of tangency is point L, which is also the intersection of the second line and the tangent line. In this illustration, the measure of angle SLR is equal to one half the measure of arc SL. Given that the measure of angle SLR is 80 degrees, let us now identify the measure of arc SL. The measure of arc SL is equal to 160 degrees. Because the, me the measure of arc SL is twice the measure of angle SLR. Two seconds intersecting on the circle. The two seconds in this illustration is line PQ and line SQ. The point of intersection of the two second lines is point Q which lies on the circle. In this illustration, the measure of angle PQS is equal to one of the measure of arc PS. Given that the measure of arc PS is equal to 100 degrees, let us identify the measure of angle PQS. The measure of angle PQS is equal to 50 degrees because angle PQS is half the measure of arc PS. Take note that if the vertex of the angle formed by the intersecting lines is on the circle, the measure of the angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. Two tangents intersecting outside the circle. The two tangents in this illustration are line SL and line PL. These two tangents intersect at an exterior point which is point L. In this illustration, the measure of angle SLP is equal to one half the measure of arc SRP minus the measure of arc SP. Given that the measure of arc SP is equal to 130 degrees, it is understood 
that the measure of arc SRP is equal to 360 minus 130, which is equal to 230 degrees. Take note that the circumference of the circle measures 360 degrees. To solve for the measure of angle SLP, that is equal to 1 half times the measure times 230 minus 130, which is equal to 1 half of 100 or simply 50 degrees. The measure of angle SLP is therefore 50 degrees. A second and a tangent intersecting outside the circle. The second line in this illustration is line FD, while the tangent line in this illustration is line ED. In this case, the measure of angle FDE is equal to one half the measure of arc EF minus the measure of arc EL. Given that, the measure of arc EL is equal to 70 degrees and the measure of angle EDL is equal to 45 degrees. Let us solve for the measure of arc EF. That is equal to 45 degrees equals 1 half times the measure of EF minus 70 degrees. Multiplying the equation by 2, we will arrive at 90 degrees equals the measure of arc EF minus 70 degrees. By transposition, we will have EF is equal to 90 plus 70 degrees or simply the measure of arc EF is equal to 160 degrees. Two seconds intersecting outside the circle. The two seconds in this illustration is line FL and line EF. These two seconds intersect at an exterior point which is point D. In this case, the measure of angle FDE is equal to one of the measure of EF minus arc LP. Suppose that the measure of arc FE is equal to 10x plus 20, the, me the measure of arc LP is equal to 5x plus 4, and the measure of angle FDE is equal to 38 degrees. Let us try to find the value of x. Using the formula, we will then have 38 degrees is equal to 1 half the measure of 10x plus 20 minus 5x plus 4. Multiplying the whole equation by 2, we will arrive at 76 is equal to 5x plus 16. By transposition, we will have 5x is equal to 76 minus 16 or simply 60. Dividing both sides by 5, we will have x is equal to 12 degrees. Since x is equal to 12 degrees, we may now identify the missing measures. The measure of arc EF is given by 10x plus 20. Substitu substituting the value of x which is equal to 12, we will have 10 times 12 plus 20 or simply 140 degrees. Solving for the measure of arc LP which is equal to 5x plus 4, that will be equal to 5 times 12 plus 4, or simply 64 degrees. Remember that if the vertex of the angle formed by the intersecting lines is found outside the circle, the measure of the angle is half the measure of the difference of its two intercepted arcs. Two seconds intersecting inside the circle. The two seconds in this illustration are seconds JH and second GK. 
the relationship between their measures are the measure of angle JAK is equal to one of the measure of arc JK plus the measure of arc GH. Also, the measure of angle GAH is equal to one of the measure of arc JK plus arc GH. Given that arc JK measures 9x plus 3, arc GH measures 12x minus 4, and angle GAH measures 52 degrees, let us try to find the value of x. By substitution, that is equal to 52 degrees equals 1 half times the quantity 9x plus 3 plus 12x minus 4. Multiplying the whole equation by 2, we will arrive at 104 degrees equals 21x minus 1. By transposition, that will be 21x is equal to 104 plus 1 or 105. Dividing both sides by 21 to get the value of x, we will arrive at x equals 5 degrees. Since we now have the value of x which is equal to 5 degrees, we may now identify the missing measures. The measure of arc JK is given by 9x plus 3. Substituting the x by 5, we will have 9 times 5 plus 3 or simply 48 degrees. Therefore, the measure of arc JK is equal to 48 degrees. The measure of arc GH is represented by 12x minus 4. Since x is equal to 5, that is equal to 12 times 5 minus 4, or simply 56 degrees. Therefore, the measure of arc GH is equal to 56 degrees. Remember that if the vertex of the angle formed by the intersecting lines is inside the circle, the measure of the angle is half the measure of the sum of its two intersected arcs. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. If the vertex of the angle formed by the intersecting lines is on the circle, the measure of the angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. If the vertex of the angle formed by the intersecting lines is outside the circle, the measure of the angle is half the measure of the difference of its two intercepted arcs. If the vertex of the angle formed by the intersecting lines is inside the circle, the measure of the angle is half the measure of the sum of its two intercepted arcs. Let us now check your knowledge in this topic. Identify the measures of angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, and angle 4 based on the given illustration. Do not forget to pause the video while answering the activity. Let us try to solve the measure of angle 1. The measure of angle 1 is one half the measure of arc RMB. The measure of arc RMB is equal to 130 degrees, simply because 90 degrees plus 40 degrees that is equal to 130 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle 1 is equal to 65 degrees. The measure of angle 2 is equal to one of the measure of arc XBM. The measure of arc XBM is equal to 120 degrees, simply because 80 degrees plus 40 degrees is equal to 120 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle 2 is equal to 60 degrees.
the measure of angle 3 is one half the measure of arc Rx plus the measure of arc BM. Since angle 3 is found inside the circle. The measure of angle 3 is equal to 1 half times 150 plus 40 degrees. The measure of R, R, Rx is equal to 150 degrees simply because if you are going to add all the measures of the arcs in a circle, that is equal to 360 degrees which is the circumference of the circle itself. That is equal to the measure of angle 3 equals 1 half times 190 or simply 95 degrees. The measure of angle 4 is given by 1 half the measure of arc MRX minus the measure of arc MBX. Take note that angle 4 is found outside the circle. The measure of angle 4 will then be 1 half times 240 minus 120. That is equal to 1 half of 120 which is equal to 60 degrees. Thank you for watching Sir Ofnik's YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless!